Hi guys, Paddy here again, and as I warned you yesterday, World Cup fever has definitely hit with just 29 days until the tournament kicks off in Russia. Here's today's headlines. England and Germany named their squads with some big names missing out. Arsenal turned to the market for defensive reinforcements, with the Bundesliga a particular focus. And Diego Maradona returns to football, just perhaps not where you've been expecting him. But first to the latest big name World Cup squads, where England manager Gareth Southgate has given zero shits for loyalty or experience. Among the notable absentees for England in Russia were Jack Wilshere and Joe Hart. The former reportedly did not even make Southgate's long list of 35 before it was cut down, despite 38 games for Arsenal this season. Expect Wilshere to instead spend his summer in a Mediterranean pool with a smoke in his mouth. Joe Hart is perhaps not as unlucky, having conceded a whopping 39 goals in 19 games in a fairly forgettable season at West Ham, at least for the right reasons. Still, it will be strange not to have him in an England squad at a major tournament for the first time since 2006. Old rivals Germany have also named their World Cup squad, with Emre Can and Andre Schürrle among the ones to miss out. But the biggest omission is Schürrle's Dortmund teammate Mario Goetze, the man who fired them to glory in the 2014 final against Argentina. Goetze has failed to find form or fitness since then, and Germany hardly have a shortage of players in his position. Manuel Neuer does make the cut, however, despite not having played since September. To transfers now, and Arsenal looking to address their defensive frailties with potentially two centre-back signings from the Bundesliga. Borussia Dortmund's Greek titan Socrates is on his way out of the club and could end up at the Gunners for up to £20 million. Socrates is strong, deceptively quick and occasionally hot-headed. Perfect for the Premier League. Also linked is Freiburg prospect Chaglas Siunchu, who, at just 21, caught the eye this season and looks set for a fine career. Both these guys are centre-backs, and would the arrival of either spell the end for £35 million flop Skodran Mustafi? Finally, Diego Maradona has a new job in sunny Belarus. The Argentina legend has signed a three-year deal at Dinamo Brest, reportedly as president. Quite what Maradona brings to the back room remains to be seen, but if it was headlines Brest wanted, then job done. So that's it for another jam-packed daily news show. Make sure you comment below, it might be featured tomorrow, and stay with us as we count down to the World Cup and the transfer window. I will never dab, ever. I will never dab. And don't make that your outtake either.